Oh, one of eight. I always try to start the video when it's closer to like seven of eight, so you don't guys have to have to wait for the queue to fill. It should fill fine though. Welcome back to another Guilds of Innistrad slash Dark Ascension, Dark Steel Ascension uh, slash New Mirrodin draft. Uh, right now we're gonna play those that thing, and uh, we're gonna pick the best cards and put them in our deck, and then we're gonna win the matches. Two out of three of them, and one of them we will get mana screwed or mana flooded out of the game. So. The worst has got to be Scred Dra- How dare you? Backlight, did you get the Night Veil Predator? What happened? What just happened? Drafted a D-Celestia deck. <laughs> did you get your, uh... Did you get your Celestia Night Veil Predator? What more can you ask for? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm just waiting now. Seven or eight. All right, we did it. We did it. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. We're probably going to windmill slam that beautiful lady. This powerful angel woman. I want to put her into the pack. Into the pool. Hmm. I don't even want to discuss the other cards because this card is pretty bonkers. Pretty, pretty. Also, Apocalypse is 9. Right before I left you sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Bear, 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 bear. It is not bonkers, but Lyra. It is It is indeed bonkers, but Lyra. Wow. Who passes this? Unfortunately, there are no good white cards in this pack, right? So we could take the Boros card and be Boros. Or we could just take the Night Veil Predator. I guess there had to be a valuable rare in this pack. So I accept that, but... I'm pretty sure it's still Night Veil Predator here. That's pretty insane. We could even potentially be Esper. However, there is no Orzov or Azorius. There is only Demir, which makes it a lot harder. <clears throat> Guild gate consideration? Not really, no. Not over a Knife Predator. Not in pack two. Uh, now I might have consideration for it because there's not many good cards in this pack I really don't want to take another 6 drop and commit to red when I have a really good white and a really good Demir card I thought the deck was wide that's a good that's a, <laughs> that's a solid meme oh man that's good that's a classic none of these cards are exciting Guildgate might actually be the uh, Angel Predator in 20 gates yeah this is it these two and then a bunch of gates. Unfortunately, no gate will help us cast this in these colors. I could just take Blade Instructor, but... Yeah, I'm not a big Cyclops fan. If, if you're not playing, is it? This card's not great. I'm going to take the Demir Guild Gate, I guess. I thought the white was... Yeah, that's not, that's not as good. We could just take Righteous Blow, too. Whatever. I don't like it, but I, actually there's no good, like the white is really bad here. Where I think Gatekeeper Gargoyle is actually very, very good, especially if we can get multiple guild gates. You're either Esper or Blue Black. I don't think Esper is possible in this format. I want to put you over here for now. We could also take the Izzet guild gate. It leaves us open for nice uh, guild, f whatever that thing is. Burbs are decent. Burbs, birds are fine. But are you guys overvaluing the birds? We're valuing them just enough.
is a guild gate keeps us open and it also makes it our gatekeeper guard a little better and it also makes if we get the what's the three man enchantment called someone just tell me what it's called so i can never forget it again yeah i think it's better than selective snare and child and yeah i'm gonna take this <clears throat> oh notion rain notion rain is where i want to be that's nice yeah that seems good cosmotronic wave is also nice guild summit yeah that's what we're looking for yeah a guild summit will be sweet we can build around that electronic cosmotronic there's nothing i love more in mtga than emoting back some idiot who bm emotes me the entire how are you not used to that from like hearthstone dude i feel like that's so funny that you mentioned that because you're like it may but, but the fact that you're mentioning it makes it sound like it's like i can't believe they did this i feel like you should be so used to that from hearthstone uh demir locket hmm it happens so much more in mtg really is that true I think it's Locket. I do like Devious Cover-Up, though. I'm going to take the Devious Cover-Up. I feel like we can get more Lockets. There's multiple colors that we can get Lockets in. Ooh, Command the Storm is nice with our Izzet Guildgate. I'm going to take that. I think it's better than Passwall Adept. That's a solid removal spell. 33.31% <laughs> of opponents. I'm going to take this Gateway Plaza, because then our Guild Summit's uh, a lot better. I'm going to update this to uh, drafting guilds. Uh, I don't love this guy, but I think it's fine. I mean, I won't kick him out of the, out of the deck, you know what I mean? I think the MTG thing of two to three games perhaps getting crushed each time really rustles people's jimmies. Yeah, that's probably true. Don't care about you, don't care about you. I don't like this card, but it can be fine in certain combat situations. I think Crushing Canopy is like a sideboard card. We have a Gateway Plaza. If we can get another on-color Guild Gate, it's not bad. Okay, well, the blue, the blue, black dried up pretty significantly, unfortunately. So that's pretty sad. I'm playing on a laptop, so the poor live podcast, Donald. That's fantastic. Is rumors ever playable? What is it? which one is rumors? The uh, the vicious rumors, like the the baby smallpox. I don't know. Maybe if you can get enough of those and militia and the burglar rats, but I'm not totally convinced. This guy's actually fine. What just happened? Five watching this in my LL Bean TM Tartan robe dollar. <laughs> God, so fancy. Look, I have to close all of these these other previous modern matches because they're still up all four all five of them are up um i like ritual of soot i like dead weight i'm not sure if i love ritual of soot because it takes it kills a lot of your dudes you know what i mean you know what i mean guys you know what, you know what i'm saying it's probably too busted though it kills a lot of things though i'm gonna take it i think it's really strong it kills so many decks Ionize? Wow, that's a good that's a good one. This pack is great. Beacon Bolt, Ionize, Direct Current, and a Sonic Assault. Wow. I'm definitely taking the Ionize. I do like a good counter spell. Ideally, this is a Guildgate will come back. So will the Demir Guildgate. At least one of these cards has to come back. Even Hellkite Whelp is nice. Jeez. What is this emote? <laughs> Oh, that emote is great, dude. Case, that is a good one, dude. I think it's I think it's Ionize. I'm a bigger Ionize fan than Beacon Bolt. Oh, Inescapable Blaze? <sighs> Talking my language magic. We 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 killed a million people with this the other day. We killed we won like four out of our six or seven games with this. Demir Spybug. Alright. Now we're talking. 
We don't have many surveil cards yet that we just literally have one. So it might just be Guildgate. That's weird to pass the spy bug though. We're pretty heavy Grixis right now. I picked up your Grixis, thank you on uh I picked up your Grixis by the way, Dick, I picked up your Grixis Frank that you put on Patreon. <laughs> I don't know if that sentence works the way you meant it to work. It's either Demir Spybug, which is very, very strong, or Demir Guildgate, which is less strong, but probably better for our deck. This also dies to Ritual. I'm going to take this. I think it's just a better card. I mean, we, we know it is a better card. Sonic. Oh, another Notion Rain, another Command the Storm, and another... God. Glaive could actually be very good if we're going heavy guild gates, which we probably are. Just put on, like, a anybody, really, and it's just very, very good. I think it's probably Glaive in this deck. God, Command is good. I don't think we're a Sonic Assault deck. I think I either want the Notion Rain or the Command the Storm, but I think it's Glaive here. Trial of the Night's actually fine. It's good with Glaive. I don't want another devious cover up. I don't care about Lot Let's Giant. And Golgar Guildgate's not exactly where I want to be, so. Yeah, the Glaive has also won us a good amount of games in our. When we had it. Uh, Disdainful Stroke seems fine. I don't care about any of these other cards. This is probably main deckable. It is definitely is main deckable. We already, already have Ionize and Devious Cover Up, so. Yeah, the Sonic Assault is only good in, like, the aggro decks. I mean, it is a good card, though, which is why I did want to mention it, but we are not really a Sonic Assault deck. You want to tap down their guy and then attack with three dudes, four dudes, six dudes. All the dudes. Narco. Ooh. Ooh, Glaive. Ooh. We Dragonauts. Ooh. These are all pretty good. I mean, Narco Meme is not good, and a second Glaive is not good, but Electromancer, We Dragonauts, or Demir Guildgate are all pretty okay. I think it's actually Wee Dragonauts here. Eh, Muse Drake's good. Alright. Second Glaive is a little aggressive. I'm going to take this Is It Locket here. Now, are really none of those lands coming back? Veiled Shade. Celestia Guildgate Foil, huh? Sure. Wow, none of them came back? That's really sad. Alright, well, we can pick some up pretty uh, aggressively in this pack, I guess. Trustani and a Foil Knight of Autumn? Man, what a time to be alive. What's Knight of Autumn even go for? A dollar sixty foil. Well, that's sad. Tristani is also like a dollar. Passing both of these to take it as a guild gate does not feel great. Oh boy. It's awkward city. Well, somebody's getting a little treat. We have a Celestia Guild Gate, that's true. And a Gateway Plaza, that's really all you need. Drowned Secrets. Not to be oh, price of fame. That's that's what we want. That's a good boy. We only have eight creatures right now. Cut black and blue? <laughs> That's a solid strategy. That's a... It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Another Wee Dragonauts. Which is probably pretty good with the number of spells we have and also good with uh, Woyek Bodyguard. I like Hellkite Whelp a lot, but I think Wee Dragonauts might be just better. I don't think we need more removal. Like, takedown seems great, but we don't really need it. Um, 
Like we have ritual assert, like all of the we have a good amount of removal right now. I can, I'm considering counter spells removal. I think we need creatures, and I think we Dragonauts is a good one, especially when we have a bodyguard to mentor onto. And we can just take this dragon, I guess. Also, there's a gateway plaza and it is a guild gate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards are coming back. I wonder if either one of them will come back. Either way, we need creatures, so I'm going to take the... <laughs> Ionize number two? What? <clears throat> wow, that's really nice. Jeez. Man, I want this, 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 and this. And I'll even take this. I just rather take the Iron Eyes. Like we can take out the Devious Cover Up if we take the Iron Eyes. Goblin Crater Maker is great. So is Deadweight. Oh man. Oh man. Two Iron Eyes is pretty nice. Even this pack's good. We have a Deadweight, a Crater Maker, and a Bodyguard. I think it's actually cra like Crater Maker does the same thing as Deadweight, only it also doubles as killing a. Uh, killing a creature and oh, I can we can take Mephitic Vapors and just have a have it for the sideboard, which is fine. We only need two. Pl oh, there's a, wow, that's a really late dead weight. Surprisingly late dead weight. I don't care about this. Don't care about another one of you. Whisper Agent doesn't do much for us. It Spy Bug might not even be great in our deck. Is it too late to switch to Jessica? I don't think so. We have Guild Gates and... I don't know if this is good enough, though. Like, I mean, it's double white, which is pretty rough. And we also have no other white cards. Yep, I like having a one Cosmotronic wave. He is the eye in the sky. How much surveil do we have? One. That's a great, that's a nice command of the storm. That's a really late command of the storm. Um, maximize altitude's okay. It's good with the wee dragonauts, right? Give this guy flight. Pump both of these guys. Seems good. Um, I don't like mesmerist. You can come out. Yeah, that's my biggest issue with Soot, is that, like, it kills all of your things. The pack with four cards might have... Oh, Gateway Plaza still. Wow, that's a late Sonic Assault. Pretty sure you want the Gateway Plaza, though. Yeah, our deck is pretty heavy. Capture Sphere came back, too? Whew. I'll take a fourth Devious cover-up, you know, just in case. I can read your mind Oh, the eye in the sky Okay, this is 24 cards We have a good amount of gates Your whole deck can just be looping devious cover-ups Yeah, that's true Someone actually tried I think with this, this can go on the sideboard I like Ritual, but it's double black and I don't want two double black cards, I don't think. Maybe we take this out, we'll board it in. We do have double lionized disdainful stroke, which is kind of nice. Our deck is pretty sweet, actually. We have a lot of removal. <laughs> Ten creatures. Nothing else really in the sideboard that we can bring in, unfortunately. So as far as removal, thank you. Or yeah, removal, not creatures. Jero for us all. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. And I am gonna consider these removal because they can prevent a thing from happening. Ten creatures is fine. We can. Yeah, I. I mean, this is a lot of removal. Like. Our creatures are all good, and like putting a glaive on anything is pretty pretty brutal. Thank you. 
Madash111, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Also, the subpocalypse is coming, guys. So I'm... I'm dreading it. Subpocalypse was, uh, during September, 102, 172 gift subs uh, were given on one day by Tanos and Josh. And um, I'm waiting for the day where they just disappear because, you know, they're gifted. So uh, I feel like it's coming. Yeah, I think this deck looks good. Is this all of our guild gates? Did we not have more? I thought we had six, but what do I know? Let's sort. We are actually significantly higher red than we were anything else, which is interesting. Uh, red and black. Just keep it in mind. Yeah, I mean, it's a, that's one thing to say. But my point is, like, I'm trying to hit 500. I'm trying. If you can maintain 500 subs for two months, at least two months, uh, Twitch gives you a higher percentage of the cut, right? So it's a 50 50 split now. If you can main, maintain 500 or more, you get a higher split. So it's not just a matter of, like, oh no, I'm going to be shocked at the end of the month. It's a matter of, like, having stream goals. And uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine eight seven, yeah, that seems perfect actually. Way to go, Magic! Way to go. Stream hashtag stream goals. Sky. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is this is a good hand. <laughs> turn one this guy. What if I accidentally click this guy turn one? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely I stream four to six days a week, so uh can't do anything on two, so we'll just play this. And if we hit a black mana, this hand's actually great. And I'm here usually being awful, and you can tell me to shut up. I always tell him to shut up. I'm like, yo, pernicious dude. Shut up. So here's the thing. We can play this guy now. We don't have a gotta we don't have a creature to um to attack with, but if we draw a black, we will we're getting there, right? Or we can play Locket, and if we draw land, we can play Hellkite Whelp. I'm gonna play this. This is better if we hit another creature, right? Then we can start going, going ham. He really should tell me to shut up more often. I'll keep that in mind, Sarah. But until then, just sh shut up. Our dra our decks in this draft format normally the wild color. Uh, I don't. I mean, we're just three colors, right? Yeah, this card is good. That makes me sad. Yikes. Um, if we hit a land, we can't play Child of Night. I kind of just want to play Child of Night here because it lets us block. Yikes. Yeah, you guys can support me all kinds of ways. Emotionally, mentally. Um, can't block alone, huh? I block alone. I'll just take another one. I'm not going to try to trial a knife for that thing. How can we attack with this guy, though? I don't understand. I don't get it. Okay. We're getting, we're getting somewhere, I think. We can play Night Veil Predator, which is super nice. Uh, in the eye in 
this guy. Yep. Tempted a block here. Tempted also not care. Legion boss number two. Piston Fist Cyclops. This guy is also great against these. This is great against this. We just have to manage our time in such a way that we don't actually lose. If they attack with everybody, it's just like five, six. Five, six, seven. I can take seven. We have a... Yeah, this is fine. All right, we're getting there. I'm pretty sure I'm okay with this trading with either of these things. Both of these guys attacking is probably okay. But if they don't attack, we can we have pretty good blocks here. When, when you guys read, is this, does anyone else hear this as pissed in fist? Like, pissed in it? Like, that's weird. It's, it seems too, it seems too close to me. Don't stand so close to me. So if these guys both attack, then both of these guys become bigger. But then we can, like, block here, block here, block here. And I think it's actually fine. This guy's annoying. Yeah, I don't think we can attack here. They can just take six, and it's probably pretty rough for us. Don't stand so close to me. That's pretty good. You're just going to kill this, huh? Don't kill my child of night. Yep. Mm -hmm. Also, Inescapable Blaze might just kill them at some point. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is fine. This doesn't actually seem great for them. I think we could have double blocked here. I think it would have been better. Yeah, that's what I figured they'd do. So if we double block, we'd still be able to kill this goblin, which is something. Still in combat. We have six in the air and we have an escapable blaze. Man, I wish we should have, att we should have attacked with one guy last turn. And then we would win this game. One, two, three. What's your favorite old meme that you wish you make a comeback? Uh, I like that boy. Uh, graveyard, graveyard. Ionize is nice. Are we dead though? Block here, we take two. Block here, we take. Eh. Might be, might be dead. Might be dead. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like this is... I feel like we made some mistakes here. They'd have one less guy. They're going to mentor twice. It's pretty bad. They don't actually cast any spells, so... Ionize. Is watching you. If we even block here and here, like we stay with like three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is... Yep, we're pretty dead. So close. If we attacked the turn before, we probably would have been fine, but like... Is Vapor is good here? Ritual of Soot seems real good here. I think we just play... Uh, play into it. Like we not, not play into it, but play around it, I guess. Play around our own Ritual. Can take out Disdainful Stroke. We didn't see many targets for Disdainful Stroke. But that ain't enough for me. Oh, I like Child of Mind and Bodyguard. That's a nice opening. Of course, they do both died a ritual of soot, but... Gotta play the cards you're dealt. Or we could just not play them and then hope they overextend into ritual and then we can ritual the world. I feel like last game we just probably played incorrectly somewhere. George, thanks so much for hanging out. Really appreciate the opportunity. Have a good night, buddy. Well, they went to five, so... In that case, I'm pretty sure we're going on, on this route. Electronic. We also have Cosmotronic Wave to kill the Goblin Tokens if need be. Oh, aggressive. Well, missed the land drop, like you do. That ain't enough, no lie. <laughs> you can't escape my eyes. Just that guy, huh? I actually like this better because we still get to get in for six, whereas if we put it on this guy, um, I guess they still trade, right? Could have killed this and they still have to trade. Yeah, that was worse. This does actually look way more impressive than one damage. You are correct. See, also, this is actually a pretty good situation for Ritual if we can start hitting lands. Demir Guildgate? Six mana, Inescapable Blaze. Okay. I mean, we have a lot of life left, so that's good. And we actually most of their creatures were three or less, so I guess we can come back and blaze their face. Kill them. Yep, that guy also dies. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're gonna take four, five, six. Like if they if they threaten to attack with this guy, we're probably just gonna capture spirit. They have one card left in hand, though, so that's good. Okay. Yep, that's fine. I'll take four here. Second black source, one time. <sighs> Swamp. Five drop. Okay. Well, we've missed four land drops so far, so just like I said in the beginning, this is how it goes. We always lose one to, to, to not being able to play our cards.
Okay, well, an inescapable blaze in our face? No, just pump that guy. Sounds good. One, two, three, four. Well, we take four here and four next turn, so we would be at seven. So it's not too bad, actually. Whatever. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, the odds of the next card being a guild gate is... I mean, we've missed five land drops here, so, like... And, actually, the Deadweight actually was better on this guy, because otherwise it would be a 3-4, and it could be pumping onto these guys a lot more. So, this ended up being correct. However, now it's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5... Or, okay, well... Yep. Here come in before Guildgate. Mount it. This could help. Now we have three, three, two three three blockers, which is pretty good. We also have two command the storms and an I and I's. If we get to untap here, it's pretty good. Guildgate is nice. I feel like if you had anything else, you wouldn't be pumping this guy. You would have just played it. So I'm gonna assume you don't have anything else. This guy also survives a... Yep. So problem here... Is that you're going to put the damage 2 on this guy and then you're going to sack this guy to kill it, which is pretty rough. Progress, thank you so much. I really appreciate the bits. Yep, that's good. That is a good one. That's actually also a good one. Yes! Yes! Now this guy survives, so we could chump here if they attack with both. Block here, block here. We're actually alive. Inescapable Blaze, also no joke. This is actually fine. I don't think we need the the soot anymore. We can probably just command this guy. Keep up I and I's. Four, five, six, seven, we have eight mana, so we can one, two, oh we have seven, so we can we can't do both. I was working on the bio, so I was going through my team, and now I see what people are saying it's such a low value. You said half the mythics aren't worth a pack, and the highest valued rares are worth about a pack. Yeah, that's. I feel like that's most modern sets, though. Yeah, that's getting ionized. And then it should be game. So we get to play a game three at least. Cosmotronic Wave wouldn't deal one to their face. That doesn't... That does not work. So we would deal six to them and then attack for two. I mean, that would still... No, they'd be at nine, so that wouldn't have actually done it. I don't know what that means. Cosmotronic Wave says creatures deals one damage to each creature your opponent's control. Like, dealing one damage to their creatures isn't going to kill them. when, Like, they they were at nine. If we didn't ionize, they would go to... What do you call it? Um, they would go to three and then we'd attack them for two so man so they have a bunch of small dudes Six plus two is not nine. You are correct. All right. I'm glad we... I need to go to bed. <laughs> I didn't know what you were saying with, like, you have an attacker, though. I'm like, what? Are, I, I, you, I just figured you didn't... You, you were missed... 
misremembering Cos- Cosmotronic Wave. Um... So what do we have? We had four swamps, actually. We had a lot of potential swamps. Oh, uh, this hand seems great. I'm a fan. Double Wee Dragonaut seems strong, especially if we can go Notion Rain. We just have to hope we don't die before then. I've had a, a rough few days. Let me get a bit of that trooper. What trooper? What are you talking about? Uh, are you implying that you'll take my life? Because I would take yours too. Uh, you could fire your musket, but I'd I'd probably run you through after that. If we can draw a ritual of soot, I would be very grateful here. See, this is my problem with with uh, with with sweepers in limited because it's been my consistent experience that you draw them when you're winning, and you never draw them when your opponent has 15 guys on board. So now I'm just gonna play we dragonauts. They're going to pump this guy and have two dudes. But it kind of has to be done. So I guess we could Notion Rain there. We take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go to 10. And this is 100% what we predicted. Yep. All right. So you fire a musket pot, I'll run you through. Yep. This is brutal. Could capture sphere this guy. Which gives us access to Hellkite Wealth next turn. I mean, I was thinking of Notion to try to hit the Ritual of Soot because it feels like that's what we need. Musket when I run you through. Uh, I guess I'll take three. The deck is very aggressive. Hypothesizzle. Okay. Discard a direct current. All right, that's actually all of that's fine. Notion Rain Child of Night could be good here, but like the Child of Night just gets blocked by this guy. I guess we could just go Hellkite Whelp and try to block. God, trading an Ornery Goblin for a freaking Hellkite Whelp seems bad. I kind of want a Notion Rain here just to... Uh, I, I really want to hit the Ritual here. Oh, Deadweight seems great. Let's just take the Deadweight. And a second Gateway Plaza. Yikes. Probably wouldn't hold back Goblin to block Child. One, two, three, four, five. So we can play this and no lands. Or we can play this and a land. Yikes. Come on. Just stop it. That was a good draw. Don't ionize me, bro. I am a big Audrey Plaza fan. She is wonderful. So 
this is a 5-5 five five right now. One, two, three. God, seven mana would be great. We would play Child of Night and Hellkite Whelp. This guy's coming through. It's lit. You're probably going to mentor onto this dude. Or the bird. I think it's this and we Dragonauts. Did I say Audrey? Audrey Plaza? Obviously, I didn't mean Audrey. I was just actually in the middle of this game right now. That is unfortunate that I said that, though. Audrey Plaza is wonderful. Oh, man. I mean, we can play all three of these, which is nice. This blocks this guy pretty easily. One, two. Child. We're at five. That's not great. I don't mind throwing Wee Dragonauts in front of here if that's what they're going to do. All right. Well, we'll see how this goes. Oh, they do have two damage in the graveyard. That's a good point. Oh, that's scary. Ugh, crying out loud. There's so much going on right now. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this game. They could also direct current the Child of Night, in which case we would not be in good shape. Which they did. <laughs> okay. Well, that's exactly what we're afraid of there. Just these two? Fascinating. Yeah, this seems bad, but fine. We'll just go to two, I guess. Hope you don't have another direct current. You didn't that turn. Inescapable Blaze. Let's play Gatekeeper. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Justice Strike and Gravitic Punch. Oh boy. That's actually kind of funny. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, and dead. Seems good. Actually, we weren't. I guess we weren't dead, but like. They target this, we can inescapable blaze it in response, and then they kill this guy, and then we have a block, but then they still have this in the graveyard. They can actually just target this guy, so doesn't really, I mean, you know, we weren't strictly dead there, but Gravitic Punch having jumpstart is pretty much game over, I think. They can punch Myth Mentor. What's a Myth Mentor? I was a Myth Mentor once. What the hell? I just got a cream for a bagel with lox and cream cheese. <laughs> That's weird. That's very strange. Chris, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, buddy. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this beautiful, beautiful baby boy.
Odd career. What point in a player's career do you find people ready to scoop only to turn around and find a way to win instead? Like, is this a level up? How do you mean? A lot of times I'll scoop preemptively just because uh, my time is more valuable. So, like, I don't think it's a, it's not a strategic thing where I'm like, well, I've given up all hope. It's more like, well, I, my odds of winning this game are uh, so low that my time is actually worth more. So. It's the smoky flavor. <laughs> I'm playing Subnautica and keeping your stream so I don't poo myself this game. <laughs> It's guys, we're having we have to keep Chris company while he uh while he plays a horror game, presumably. I haven't actually heard of Subnautica. Really? This guy's coming in. I scoop all the time when everyone's just slightly behind. Mentally I just feel better starting for I do that too. I'm just like, nope. I don't like the way this is going. I'm just gonna try again. Oh, this mountain is a real real biscuit. Let's see your pump spell. It's not a horror game, but it is horrifying. Well, that's interesting. Is it underwater? Because I can't handle underwater nonsense, man. I'm out. And for that reason, I am also out. Yeah, we need to have to take heart. This is a fine trade. I mean, I'll, I'll try to take heart for this. You don't gain the life from attacking we still do gain life and we get to play another wee dragonauts to block either one of these guys if they don't have anything else which they probably do you don't think i play bioshock come on buddy what's going on here you got no other plays right I'm scared of human sea monsters, so. Jana, what's going on? Play this guy. Boop, boop, boop. You can't smoke alien fish, okay? It's not legalized. Don't attack. Oh, they didn't attack. They got nothing. They got nothing. I don't really feel like using that here. If they didn't have anything last turn, I think we're okay to just bop them with one. Give them the one bop. The electric lettuce ain't legalized here. Where are you? Pernicious dude, where are you? Where are you, Jeff? Oh, I mean pernicious dude. I can't use your name. I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, that's old, old booty guard. Smoke me an alien kipper. <laughs> just, oh, you guys are all just ridiculous. All right, that'll do. I live in, I like in Philadelphia. Live. I like in Philadelphia. I feel like I have to shrink this guy. Otherwise, these guys just get worse for me, not for them. Nope, that's not going to do it. This is a really inefficient use of my turn, unfortunately. But everything else depends on these guys staying small. Wow, Subnautica got 9 out of 10 on Steam and 93% of like this game? That's insane. This came out in January of this year and I've never heard of it and it got really good reviews apparently. What on the earth, man? How have I not heard of this game? Have I heard of this game? Subnautica is the name of the game. That's the name of the game. I'm going to go Metacritic this bad boy.
Don't you start playing. Oh, I hate autoplay videos. Come on. Just stop it. Here you go. I'll put it in the chat for you guys. 87 on Metacritic. That's pretty good. Uh-oh. User score is 88.2. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh, biscuits. Yep, that's a good one. That is a good one. Yikes. Yikes, McMikes. Well, I guess we gotta do this, Jobby. Man, these Wii Dragonauts are not cutting it. I thought that game was pretty peaceful. I wish we had any of our Ionizes for this, but alas, or a Disdainful Stroke. We have three counter spells in our deck and a price. Also, Ritual of Soot's not terrible here. It is a four for four, but it gets important creature off the board. Say my name, say my name. This guy has some first strike, and he's gonna kill me. Come at me, bro. Oh, no attacks? That's nice. I'll take four. Chicken Mike, someone say my name. Chicken Mike is your name. Oh, God, that guy's gotta go. None of this is good. So if we play this guy, he's just a 5-5, five, five, which means he blocks here. So we probably just play Night Veil Predator. Deals one damage to each creature we control. That's fine for now. Dennis gave me some painkillers and I can't play for shit under this stuff, but I'm enjoying watching Frank. Oh, that's good. I'm glad we're all having a good time. You guys are, uh, you know, having your little drinky drinks and your little painkillers. We're all having a good time here. Well then. Oh my god. What is happening right now? Is the dentist the name of your dealer? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I went to the old uh, dentist today, if you know what I mean. Not as scandalous as rum and oxy, but still pretty good. Well, you know. Why did this guy get in there? I guess because everyone did. What's going on? There you go. Hey, what's going on? Got a block here. Do I take seven or do I just chump block here and take one? I don't know. I think I take seven. I can go to nine. The problem is if we play this guy and block this guy, it's pretty bad. I'm actually pretty terrified of deep water. Really, you killed this guy instead of this guy, huh? Oh god, that's such a bad removal spell against this dude. <laughs> that's so bad. Yikes. So we block here. Or no, we take five, and then we block here. Oh, crying out loud. There are no cards. It's just better to play this guy, probably. Because, I mean, like, if we're blocking here anyway, like, we're getting... Oh, that makes this guy... Yeah, that's fine, though. We're just going to chump block that guy. Otherwise, we'd die anyway, so... Oh, 
That's a good one. Well, I guess we're commanding that thing. Oh, no attacks is nice. Okay, okay. Oh, we're doing so good now. This game just happened to... Uh, to turn around. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow, we are one away from... Is there a legendary creature we can kill for two? <laughs> oh, dang it, we're literally one damage away. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And it's target creature, so we can't actually deal the other point. That's sad. I don't think we care about this, right? I mean, I guess it does tap our guy down next turn. We kill this, we attack with everything, and then you, the most you can deal is six. Oh, you have a direct current in your graveyard. Let's keep that in mind. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, this deals six, or this deals three. So you can't play both next turn. But you could attack for three, four, five, six, seven, put us to one. And you'd have to discard the card you draw to do that. Uh, don't care about you. Yeah, I don't care about either of those. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow, that's so close. So we can attack for 8, but then you tap this guy down. We're probably chumping with this guy. I think we just have to alpha here. Get rid of this guy. Alright, so you're in top deck mode. You're going to 1. Any one of these creatures is lethal. You have five on board, six, seven here, so yeah. Whew. That was not pleasant math. Ritual's in the sideboard. Oh, I thought it was in the main deck. Well, that's interesting. Bring a ritual, take out Demir Spybug, I think. Like, we just have no. I don't think Spybug's good in our deck. We just have no way to uh, effectively scry. Like, we think we have, like, three surveil cards. I think that's being generous. Five on board, two burn in graveyard. I mean, we're at eight, so that doesn't really... It's not really going to do it. Oh, that's like the perfect hand for the Night Veil Predator. So we can go Glaive into Predator. Oh, and that gives Predator Vigilance too? Oh my god. Oh, this Cosmotronic Wave is also going to be gas. I guess this is going to be a 2-3 by then though. Man, nothing ever works out. Oh, this would have been so good to just blast both of these dudes. Instead, now we take six. Ah, so sad. And this guy is actually pretty unblockable, unfortunately. Hammer dropper? Yeah, this is bad. Ritual of So would be amazing top deck here. Yeah, I don't even want to play Night Veil Predator at this point. Why can't you be two damage? Take six. Jesus. Simulation powers activate. Yeah, well, that would be nice. On the bright side, six could still do it for us, but. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Man, Cosmotronic Way would have been so much better if this guy was a through one. Block here. Which is probably just worse than Cosmotronic Waving, I guess. We also just command the storm, one of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. That's not going to work, right? They have three cards in hand. They didn't play anything last turn. That's interesting. Attack with both direct current our face. Yep, 100% blocking here because we're dead otherwise. Take heart, direct current. That's the play. Ritual of Soot. Mountain. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. We can play this. And that's pretty much it. But we go to two, and then they can direct current us. Hmm. Ask your opponent to concede. Solid strategy. Yeah, we're going to do this now because if they have like take heart, if they have take heart, we're just dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And they don't have to, they don't have to play it in order to kill us. They just attack and then play it. And dead. Yep, seems good. Ritual of Soot on top, maybe? No, Guild Gate. Okay. What up, Chris? Alright, so what are we what are we playing here instead? I kinda like Dazzling Light almost. Why didn't we draw anything good? Take the is it lock it out? Dazzling light, dude. Doo -doo -doo. Actually, Mephitic Vapors might be better than Wave. Oh, dang it. I should have done it. I'm so bad. All right, we'll keep the sand. Oh, I like that. And we have the ritual in hand. That's rude. Why you gotta be so rude? Well, you got. I knew, I knew it was gonna be this guy. I'm like, well, we're never gonna be able to play it with this one mountain. So of course it's. Here comes True Fire Captain. Yeah, we got Capture Spear, I guess. True Fire Champion. I don't know what that card's called. The Four Drop. Oh, Hammer Dropper.
We can just take. We can probably just take five here and throw a bodyguard down. I think we have the initiative here, right? But I think this is probably better. I don't know why we're doing it now, but just because if we save five now, we get to. Thank you for streaming today. It has been a long and somewhat bittersweet day for me. Magical later went through her and Let's just say it was underwhelming. Uh, got home with a crazy headache and after taking some pills, I heard her stream and jokes. And now I saw it. Thanks, man. I wish I could do more than just this hour. I, will. I am what the internet calls a poor. Jenna, don't even worry about it, buddy. Hope your hope your day is going better. I know that. Uh, I know that feeling. I've definitely had my share of pretty underwhelming GP experiences. So do not think you're alone there, buddy. Also, good meeting you for the for good good hearing about your GP experience for the first time. <laughs> That's a little meme. Oh, that's pretty good. No blocks. God, Ionize is so good, but unfortunately, uh, all their cards are for are four mana or more, or four yeah four mana or more, and we can't play this because we don't have a second black or blue, and we can't play this because we don't have six mana, and you know. I guess we can still do some damage here though right like they take six we get to keep this guy back if we want to we can leave those guys behind do they just take six here it's actually pretty good five six we take ten we go to seven if this guy lives we get to in escape now we're way off this never mind progress thank you so much really appreciate it thank you for the jano bits a vast games with the resub thank you so much buddy really appreciate it this is aggressive i will take 10 man i feel like this opening was very very good and they still have direct current in the graveyard which is worth noting All right, that was a good hit. Block here, we take five, six, seven, eight. We're probably dead to this. This is probably gonna kill us with the direct current. That is unfortunate. Three, four, five, six. And even if we, like, we could have actually moved this over, right, if this was two. So then they couldn't block this, and then they take four here and five, six here. So they would, would that work? No, they would still be taking the same six, so never mind. I guess we, actually we block, yeah, actually we're not dead. I don't feel good about it. If they go any pumps, any any one of these guys gets through and they have take heart, we're just dead. Plus they have direct current, so. Yep, this is rough. Oh, double mentor. I totally forgot about that. So, yeah, I was I was hoping a guy would live, but I guess not. Oh, actually, if we get a if we get a red off the top, we're in value city. Uh, how do we kill all of these guys? We cannot. So we'll kill you. We'll kill you, and we'll just block you. They're all fives, so we can literally not kill them all. We go to four. They have a direct current. This guy's huge. 
And I think we're just dead. Not dead. Mountain. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> rare, rare, uncommon, common. Literally win with this if we just have an untapped land. <sighs> oh, 2 seems good. I guess we only had three mountains left in the deck, so it's not like it was super meant to be. I mean, whatever. Like, I, I hate that you can't get anything for your third round. I think the price, the price payout system for the intermediate drafts is pretty terrible. Um, however, when you lose games like that where you just can't hit lands or whatever, it's really disincentivizes me to uh, ever play single elimination because, Jesus, if I can't win the first round because I can't play any of my spells, like, the last thing I want to do is not play any of my rounds because it's single limb, so... That just doesn't really make any sense to me, but... So I'm like, it was just literally, I'm just playing a last round against someone else who's 0-2 and my heart's not in it, so it's like, what's the point? But... I mean, it's still a video, whatever. I'm like, it's it goes up on YouTube, so either I just play two rounds and it's super short, or I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't know. It sucks. Cause I think this deck is actually pretty sweet. Double we dragon on, double I and eyes. Yet I think we drew I and eyes one time, and like they didn't actually have to cast any spells because we drew it on turn nineteen. So. Also, we have one Ravnica pack, so now we just have to go into, like, our 30 tickets to, to play more. Like, we have to just pay, uh, <laughs> just keep paying $14 per draft as you try to make a living streaming Magic the Gathering. Good times, good times. Magic is a fun game. That's the biggest reason I get salty, you know what I mean? Like, when I play, like, Elder Scrolls or when I play Hearthstone or when I play any other game, I don't get nearly as salty. And I think that's because there's just not that much on the line. Right? Like, in any of those games, if you play your games and you lose, you, you've lost nothing. You know, you don't you don't take a hit financially. Uh, you're not paying out of pocket to play your games. You just, re you just jump in the queue again and play another game. Whereas, like, in Magic, if you lose a draft, well, you, it's 14, $12, 12, $14, 14 tickets, whatever you want to call it. And that's, you know, that's a real investment. This would be nice if I can actually attack with this guy, but... We got ten creatures in the deck, so... This guy's not ideal. Yeah, seeing Azorius on the other side is pretty funny. Also, this guy with a glaive on is pretty insane. Like, I'll just be mentoring this guy forever. I'll be taking this guy under my wing forever. Oh, we got an Izzet Guild Gate. That's intriguing. I mean, that might explain their O2 status, right? Wow, 
Graveyard, graveyard. This guy's getting countered. No, all right, I have no idea what's going on then. Yeah, that's a thing. Real mature. Some people are O2 because they have because of bad beats. Some are O2 because they thought they could draft Azorius. Got a little of both going on here. One, two, three. Let's play this guy first. I don't understand they have six cards in their hand what is going on what is happening right now mm, okay so they're just Jeskai then so they got is it Boros going on Look at this little derpy dude. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Long wow, another one of these? My god, so much hypothesizing. Oh, no discard. Oh, maybe? Yes, discard? Okay. Goodbye, little wee dragonauts. Aren't you still dead, though? Sure, Muse Drake still kills you. If you waited to do this, you could have killed the guy with the glaive on it, but now I just feel like you're in. Now I just feel like mistakes were made. <laughs> I'm putting Chad in Howie mode only mode. Please abide. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. You dead? Yeah, alright. Exactsies. That is a thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is a real thing that's happening over here in chat, I guess. See, again, we didn't draw a single Ionize. Like, we have double Ionize in our deck. We've drawn one in all seven matches. Okay, this... <laughs> oh, my God. I'm actually amazed at how... Wow, this is real commitment here. I'm impressed. This... <laughs> I can't... I can't even. You guys are not... This is not okay. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, this is like the most reasonable the internet has ever been. Usually people don't listen. This is amazing. This is like chatty mode only mode on the honor system and you guys are actually sticking to it. This is impressive. Uh, do we just keep this and hope we draw? Yeah, I think so.
Hey, look, we drew the iron eyes, but we have no red mana, so... Shrug. Jesus. <gasps> look what we did! Next time we get to keep iron eyes up or play Woyek Bodyguard. Well, that guy's a. Oh, they missed the land drop. Oh, that's no. That's no good. That's no bueno. I don't like playing uh, this guy here because he can't do anything. I guess next turn we have two blockers instead of one. And if they want to bounce it, then we just get the. If they want to bounce the Muse Drake instead, that's fine. I feel like when they're at two mana, we're not, and they have four power on board. We we need to develop our board and not worry about countering something. Cyborg, have a good night, buddy. Uh, no blocks, obviously. I think we're going to win this round and not even get a pack for it. I think you should get one pack if you get a win. Like, come on. Come on. Well, why don't you play the pack per win, nerd? Well, you know why. They sure have a lot of two drops, though. One Howie plus one Howie minus one Howie equals Howie. That's actually true. That is correct Howie math. Yeah, see if you bounce that guy, it's fine. We can just block something. We take two less. And then they can crater, goblin crater maker this guy. Oh, they didn't. Fascinating. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to play. Pr I don't want to play anything else here. Next turn, we can equip and play ionize, which is nice. All right, I'm taking us off Howie mode only mode. Thanks, great work, everyone. That was actually good work. I was really impressed. The amount of of coming together that happened there was. Muy bueno. This is actually amazing that they're almost going to win this game. Oh, that's interesting. And they only have two mana. They've just literally played two, three, three, two drops. I mean, I guess we're not dead yet, but still. Oh my Christ. Come on. Oh my god. This guy is surprisingly obnoxious right now. Oh boy. Yep. So we go to six. Next turn we can price and ionize, which is nice. This is this is a Vidalcan mesmerist format. You are you are not wrong, buddy. Do I equip? Yeah, we equip. Because now we can block, and that's important. Blocking is important, and we get to keep up ionize and price, which is where you want to be. So they're basically dead now. We, they can't win. <laughs> Ooh, no attacks. Seems good. I will use this on you. 
Because if we use it on the other guy, they're just going to kill our glaive, so. I don't want either of these. Both of you in the garbage can. That's also not good. I'm going to play this because we have one, two, three, four. We can play both of these things now, so. You're immortant? What are you even saying right now? What are you even saying, Zagon? Hoiven, Glaven! One, two, three, four, five. We can actually play this keep up eye and eyes. We're going to do that. I'm bad at talk. <laughs> That's okay, I forgive you. Man, this game turned around. Do, 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 do. Come on, buddy. Every now and then I fall apart. Let's try to close out this game. Deal that little dude a point. I wonder if they know they can kill the glaive. That's my question. Oh, well, planes. Oh, look at this. Where the hell does Tajik get in here? Oh, I guess they put it in there with the unexplained discover disappearance. That Tajik disappeared un unexpectedly. Unexplainedly. They're tapped out. Yeah, they're dead. That'll do, pig. And it's literally a pig, so it's perfect. They're at six. Two floaty boys. Dead. All right, well, one, two. Not ideal, but... What are you going to do? Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sign those like and subscribe button. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Both of the links are in the description below. And you can check me out there and get some sweet content for $1 a month. As little as $1 a month on Twitch, on Patreon. That's all it takes. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, nerds? Thank you for watching. Sign those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.